Let's hear it for Zach Oberman, everybody. Woo! Zach I'll start off by uh, telling you guys a little about myself. I have a seven-year-old daughter. Uh, last year we had a baby boy. Uh, thank you very much. Um, also, for those of you who haven't yet seen my penis, I'm Jewish. Um, surprise, not really. Uh, it's, it's a scary time to be a Jew, I'll admit it. Like, things are tense, there's political tension, there's racial tension. It's like times like this, you know, people start to look for a scapegoat, and like, for some reason we're always just like, that? <laughs> like, it's, like, luckily we've survived a lot of shit over the years. Like, there was the whole thing in Germany, you might have heard about it. Uh, totally real, by the way. <laughs> uh, but even before that, like, you know, we were, we were slaves in Egypt for generations, and, and, and we got out. Uh, pretty dramatic, you might have heard about it. Uh, that one I'm not so sure about, though, how that went down. Not so much because of, like, the frogs and, and the water and everything, but Jews escape. They have one celebration, and then they spend the next 40 years wandering in the desert. <laughs> Is it, yeah, the very next thing. And, and, I mean, just based off the Jews I know, we don't do well with surprise hikes. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, did he just say 40 years? What, out here? Did you know about this? <laughs> I just thought we were doing the land blood thing. <laughs> of course I don't want to go back, but I'd have packed differently. I was so focused on the bread thing. I just, I just pray that, that the fate of our people never comes down to me. I don't like our odds in that situation. Uh, I'm not really set up for any sort of cataclysms, apocalypses, dystopias. I am, I am five foot three and doughy. My body type is very dependent on a society of laws. <laughs> the, uh, the only, th I, I don't, you know, I don't even have the skill set for it. Like the only thing I would hate worse than dying in a zombie apocalypse is living in one. My daughter would be like, Daddy, the zombies are here. I'd be like, and I've already sent three emails about it, but they are not responsive, so I don't know what you want me to do here. I, I, I mentioned my kids. I do actually have a wife. Uh, I, am, I am married. I know, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I know, I, I don't wear a ring. I don't wear a ring on my finger. Um, I had to take it off. It was, you know, holding me back. <laughs> Tying me down. <laughs> Giving me eczema. <laughs> well, that's, that's real. That's real. I have to wear it on a chain around the neck as a metaphor. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the only upside is that I tell myself that it gives off this, like, sexy widower vibe. <laughs> like, I still have all the love, but it's time for me to find someone new to give it to. <laughs> With just me and the kids at the park, I will absolutely pull it out. I'm just like, it's just so hard doing this on my own. <laughs> and, until two o'clock, Mom said she'd be back at two. No, no I, I told you, she's in a better place. <laughs> getting her hair colored. <laughs> you, you saw her roots, it was time. Um, actually, if, if, if you don't mind, a quick round of applause for my wife. She is here in the audience. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That was really solid of you. It's going to work out well for me. Um, show of hands, who here is married? Can I see his man? Great. Uh, put him down. Um, and... and <laughs> And who here is happily married? So, same hands, but at different speeds. Uh, me and my wife are happily married. Um, but, I, you know, I, I will admit it's different, but, you know, really, like, on a scale of one to two, we are a solid 1.6. You know, it is, it is that. I just don't know if we really set the right expectations going into marriage. You know, we, we, we say good times and bad, better or worse, it's in there in the vows. 
It also says a bunch of things in my cell phone contract, but I'm like, scroll, scroll, etc. Just give me that new pixel. Um, I, just, I just wish we had a, like a wedding calculator, you know, like one of those financial cal like calculators, because like, a wedding, a wedding is the biggest decision you make with absolutely no math, you know? Like, you have no numbers. You wouldn't do that. Like, Sharon, your, your qualifications are impeccable. We'd like to offer you the role. That's great. What's my starting salary? I love you. <laughs> I can't even buy a Big Mac without a, a giant board telling me exactly how bad my next life choice is. It's like 10,000 calories. Well, 15,000 lifetime arguments. Big a mazel tov. All right, that's my time. Thank you very much. Thank you.